If you want to be an expert at managing difficult airways, you need to practice on difficult airways. I'm Paul Baker, I'm an anesthesiologist, and I've devised an instrument that will allow you to do that. The awesome bronchoscopy simulator. It's realistic, it's fun to use, it's very portable, it has a range of difficult airways, and it prepares you for real life scenarios. I've been teaching airway management for a long time, and it occurred to me that people would come to do courses and improve their skills, then they'd go back to work and they wouldn't necessarily practice those skills, so their skills would drop off. So when it comes to flexible bronchoscopy, I thought it would be great to have a device like the Awesome. Learning a clinical skill like flexible bronchoscopy takes a lot of time and a lot of experience, and normally that would take a long time in the operating room waiting for the right type of patient. So using a simulator, you speed all of that up, it increases the learning curve, and it allows expertise to develop much faster. The awesome is quick and easy to put together, and this can be done in under five minutes. You get the simulator out of the hard case, and there are three main parts. You plug in the laptop, you connect the desktop sensor to the laptop with a USB cable, you screw the proxy bronchoscope into the side of the desktop sensor, turn on the computer, wait for the software to load, and away you go. I believe the more realistic your learning experience will be, the easier it will be for you to transition from a simulator to the real clinical environment. A lot of thought has gone into the design of the awesome. That's why we've put huge effort and we've got wonderful graphics. And we're very excited about that. So on the awesome, you can get into the airway through the mouth, the nose, or a conduit. And once you're in the airway, it goes all the way down to the bottom of the lung. So we include right to the segmental level with 19 segments. We record everything so that when you're doing your scenario, if you want to, you can play it back to your tutor and go over what you've done to improve your learning experience. We can also invert the image because some patients have to sit upright. So you can learn how to do that on a simulator before you have to go and work it out on a patient. Having an awesome makes a lot of financial sense because it protects your clinical equipment from damage during training. Also, developing expertise means that the trainee, when they are moved on to the clinical equipment, are far less likely to break that equipment. Also, the traditional way of learning was with a tutor in the operating room while the patient was there. So, not only is this a lot safer for the patient to learn outside the operating room, it saves operating room time, which is very expensive. The awesome is light and portable, and this gives it distinct advantages. This means you can easily use it near the operating room, in the classroom, or take it to a simulation center. In fact, I often travel overseas with it, and I put it up in my cabin luggage in the airplane. Being so small and portable, it's easily stored and locked up for security reasons if you want to keep it near the operating room. The design of the desktop sensor was thought out very carefully. We wanted something that was akin to resting your hand on a patient's face, so it's somewhat forgiving. The handpiece, we wanted to be very realistic. It's the right weight, it has buttons and levers that work. So when you're using the awesome, it's quite straightforward to transfer those skills through to the clinical context. If your specialty is involved in airway management and you want to be an expert, then get an awesome and start practicing.